Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2022. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today I will be covering Ezekiel 35 through 36 and 2 Peter 1. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. A Prophecy Against Edom Ezekiel 35 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face against Mount Seir, prophesy against it, and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, I am against you, Mount Seir, and I will stretch out my hand against you, and make you a desolate waste. I will turn your towns into ruins, and you will be desolate. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Because you harbored an ancient hostility and delivered the Israelites over to the sword at the time of their calamity, the time their punishment reached its climax. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, I will give you over to bloodshed, and it will pursue you, since you did not hate bloodshed bloodshed will pursue you. I will make Mount Seir a desolate waste and cut off from it all who come and go. I will fill your mountains with the slain. Those killed by the sword will fall on your hills and in your valleys and in all your ravines. I will make you desolate forever. Your towns will not be inhabited and then you will know that I am the Lord. Because you have said, these two nations and countries will be ours, and we will take possession of them, even though I, the Lord, was there. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, I will treat you in accordance with the anger and jealousy you showed in your hatred of them, and I will make myself known among them when I judge you. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have heard all the contemptible things that you have said against the mountains of Israel. You said they have been laid waste and have been given over to us to devour. You boasted against me and spoke against me without restraint, and I heard it. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. While the whole earth rejoices, I will make you desolate, because you rejoiced when the inhabitants of Israel became desolate. That is how I will treat you. You will be desolate, Mount Zir, you, and all of Edom. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Hope for the Mountains of Israel Ezekiel 36 Son of man, prophesy to the mountains of Israel, and say, Mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. The enemy you said to you, Ah, the ancient heights have become our possession. Therefore prophesy and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because they ravaged and crushed you from every side, so that you became a, the possessions of the rest of the nations and the object of people's malice, talk, and slander. Therefore, mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to the mountains and hills, to the ravines and the valleys, to the desolate ruins and the deserted towns that have been plundered and ridiculed by the rest of the nations around you. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. In my burning zeal, I have spoken against the rest of the nations and against all Edom. For with glee and with malice in their hearts, they made my land their own possession, so that they might plunder its pasture lands. 
Therefore prophesy concerning the land of Israel, and say to the mountains and hills, to the ravines and valleys, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I speak in my jealous wrath, because you have suffered the scorn of the nations. Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I swear with uplifted hand that the nations around you will all so suffer scorn. But you, mountains of Israel, will produce branches and fruit for my people Israel, for they will soon come home. I am concerned for you and will look on you with favor. You will be plowed and sown, and I will cause many people to live on you. Yes, all of Israel, the towns will be inhabited and the ruins rebuilt. I will increase the numbers of the people and animals living on you, and they will be fruitful and become numerous. I will settle people on you as in the past, and will make you prosper more than before. Then you will know that I am the Lord. I will cause people, my people, Israel, to live on you. They will possess you, and you will be their inheritance. You will never again deprive them of their children. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because some say to you, You devour people and deprive your nations of its children. Therefore, you will no longer devour people or make your nation childless, declares the Sovereign Lord. No longer will I make you hear the taunts of the nations, and no longer will you suffer the scorn of the peoples, or cause your nation to fall, declares the Sovereign Lord. Israel's Restoration Assured Again the word of the Lord came to me, Son of Man, when the people of Israel were living in their own land, they defiled it by their conduct and their actions. Their conduct was like a woman's monthly uncleanliness in my sight, and so I poured out my wrath on them because they had shed blood in the land, and because they had defiled it with their idols. I dispersed them among the nations, and they were scattered through the countries. I judged them according to their conduct and their actions. And whenever they went among the nations, they profaned my holy name. And for it was said of them, These are the Lord's people, and yet they had to leave his land. I had concern for my holy name, which the people of Israel profaned among the nations where they had gone. Therefore, say to the Israelites, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. It is not for your sake, people of Israel, that I am going to do these things, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations where you have gone. I will show the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, the name you have profaned among them. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord, and that the Lord de declares the Sovereign Lord. And when I am proved holy through you before their eyes. For I will take you out of the nations, and I will gather you from all the countries, and bring you back into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will become clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart, and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit in you, and move you to follow my decrees, and be careful to keep my laws. Then you will live in the land I gave your ancestors, that you will be my people, and I will be your God. I will save 
you from all your uncleanliness. I will call for the grain and the, make it plentiful, and I will not bring famine upon you. I will increase the fruit of the trees and the crops of the fields, so that you will no longer suffer disgrace among the nations because of famine. Then you will remember your evil ways and wicked deeds, and you will loathe yourselves for your sins and detestable practices. I want you to know that I am not doing this for your sake, declares the Sovereign Lord. Be ashamed and disgraced of your conduct, people of Israel. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. On the day I cleanse you from all your sins, I will resettle your towns, and the ruins will be rebuilt. The desolate land will be cultivated instead of lying desolate in the sight of all who pass through it. They will say, this land was laid waste has become, and has become like the Garden of Eden. The cities that were lying in ruins, desolate and destroyed, are now fortified and inhabited. Then the nations around you that remain will know that I am the Lord, and the Lord has rebuilt what was destroyed, and have replanted what was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will do it. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Once again I will yield to Israel's plea, and do this for them. I will make their people as numerous as sheep, as numerous as the flocks of for for offerings at Jerusalem during her appointed festivals. So will the ruined cities be filled with flocks of people. Then they will know that I am the Lord. That was Ezekiel 35 through 36. And now we will be turning to Second Peter 1. Second Peter 1. Simon Peter, a servant uh, and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who, through the righteousness of our God and Savior Jesus Christ, have received a faith as precious as ours. Grace and peace be with yours in abundance, through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Confirming one's calling and election. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through these he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature having escaped the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. For this is the very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness and to godliness mutual affection and so mutual affection to love for if you possess these qualities in increasing measure they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our lord jesus christ but whoever does not have them is nearsighted and blind forgetting that they have been cleansed from their past sins. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election, for if you do these things, you will never stumble, and if you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Prophesy of Scripture 
So I will always remind you of these things, even though you know them and are from firmly established in the truth you now have. I think it is right to refresh your memory as long as I live in the tent of this body, because I know that I will soon put it aside, as our Lord Jesus Christ has made clear to me, and I will make every effort to see that after my departure you will always be able to remember these things. For we did not follow Clara, um, cleverly devised stories when we told you about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in power, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. He received honor and glory from God the Father when the voice came to him from the majestic glory, saying, This is my Son, whom I love, and with him I am well pleased. He, or we will offer ourselves, and we ourselves heard this voice that came from heaven when we were with him on the sacred mountain. We also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable, and you will do well to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things, for prophecy never had its origin, origin in the human <coughs> will, but prophets through humans spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. And that was First Peter, or Second Peter, sorry, that was Second Peter, uh, one, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Ezekiel 37 through 39 and Second Peter two. Father, I just thank you for your word, because without your word, I would no longer not be able to be your messenger of the word. So I give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And they all said, Amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, please come back and see us tomorrow because God willing we'll be here. And we hope that you are too. Please like and share. <laughs>